What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica where we have two things to talk about today. One being the object in front of me, the precursor gun. And then the second being the Sea Emperor. We have some information about her that we need to go over. So the first thing is the precursor gun. They have updated the animation for the sunbeam um, effect where we shoot it down. And also, supposedly, we can now turn the gun. So, if we go in here and we do this, precursor gun aim, it should be able to turn it. Look at that. No sound effects or anything, but we're turning the gun. Look at that. Interesting. How far does it turn? Ooh! Okay, okay, cool, cool, yes. Um, I think that needs to be polished up a little, but the reason why this is actually at that angle is because of the new sound effect. Or not new sound effect, sorry. The new um, effect. I don't know what it's called. Brain fart, okay. All right, so the reason why this is at this angle is because of the new um, effect that they added. So let's go. We'll go play. If I can type sunbeam FX, right? And now it charges. And boom. Look at that. So this part here is a lot bigger and then the overall explosion is bigger and there is no sound effects unfortunately and then all these particles are I, I think they added a bunch more and added some detail to them and they will keep going down until they hit right above the ocean and then they will disappear also in testing this uh, it also seems that the particles are random Unless it's just because of where I'm placed every time. But it, it seems that when you shoot it off, that each time is different. So it's not like a set trajectory that each projectile has. So that's pretty cool. So we do have to play it again because there's something, since I was looking up like this, that we missed. That they added, which is really awesome. So let's go ahead and play this again. Now watch the water. When it starts charging, it brings it up. And then once it fires, it like shoots it away. So that's pretty awesome to see. Um, ooh, actually we can see that it charges there, right? I wanna see if we can see up there. Let's try and watch it in free cam. All right, let's go a little faster here. Might be a little framey. It still is. All right. So let's try this again. Play Sunbeam FX. Oh, no space. Oh, yep. There it is. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. So, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Um, if you do want to see the precursor gun shooting from different locations on the map, go check out Awesome Crunch's video. He went all over the place, like in the Aurora when it's exploded on the other island. It's pretty cool to see. So if you want to see that, go ahead and check out his video. Um, I'll try and leave a link in the down there if I remember. So, uh, yeah. So, see, like, I don't think these projectiles were like I don't remember that one being way out there all right so yeah that's it for the gun let's see I wonder what happens if we do the aim thing again oh oh it restarts it look at that okay so let's watch this again so it's turning so clearly the end part needs to you know be adjusted so it doesn't snap so quickly but it's pretty cool right so, uh, yeah, so that's it for the precursor gun. Uh, on to the Sea Emperor. 
All right, guys, so on to the next thing. So the next thing is about the sea emperor and the enzyme cure. So uh, the beginning part is kind of like what it's going to do. Uh, the sea emperor is, and then it says, uh, swimming around on a loop. The crossed out part says between different stations in the aquarium. So it seems like uh, they changed their mind on how it was going to be like swimming around in the aquarium. Uh, and then it says, it is followed by schools of different creatures. Occasionally emits an enzyme cloud, which cures nearby creatures. And then this one uh, I'm kind of excited for is approaches the player when they approach the eggs. So my assumption is that the incubator is going to be in the middle of the aquarium. And once you get to it, then it's going to show some kind of pretty awesome animation. And it will come up to you. And uh, on trial, they are saying that they are working on the voice. So maybe it will then have a cutscene or something and talk to you, maybe? Um, I don't think it's confirmed that it can actually talk, but on Trello, it says voice instead of like sounds. So it's a good indication there. So then under there, it says for the PDA on approaching an enzyme cloud, the infected creature's symptoms are being alleviated by the clouds of stomach enzyme being emitted by the emperor. Scans indicate the enzyme is too unstable to be per a permanent cure and then it says uh make enzyme cure when then it says make enzyme cure known when player scans emperor scans baby scans egg and add enzyme cure data bank entry and then under that it says enzyme cure data bank entry analysts of the enzyme production organs in the sea emperor Species indicates that it may be possible to permanently purge the alien bacteria from a human system with a sufficiently stable enzyme sample. However, the procedure carries a risk profile in the upper bounds. While the emperor specimen encountered is in poor health and unlikely to produce enzyme with the necessary strength a juvenile of the species may do. So we already knew that we would get the um, enzyme from the juvenile, so that's not really anything new. Uh, and then on the bottom it says there's quite a lot to tell about the emperor, so it'd be desirable if we can split up that information a bit instead of just dumping it in one huge data bank entry. Possible ways to achieve this is scan ember in different locations, behaviors, animations to learn different facts. Uh, example is while feeding, while circling the eggs. And then it says scan a transfuser sample from the emperor. So um, what's pretty interesting, it's, it says while feeding. So my assumption is that's going to be like another animation. So I'm I'm really looking forward to the animations of the Sea Emperor, simply for the fact that the Sea Emperor baby is so like complex already. To see the Sea Emperor, it it's just gonna make my day. I'm gonna have a nerdgasm. So um, there's not like quite a bit new here, but it's more of an informational standpoint, like the data bank, and um, it's gonna be swimming around a loop, and then there's the creatures, and I. Th believe that we didn't know it actually emits an enzyme cloud so now that we do know that and that it isn't like a permanent cure it's just for like a time being type of thing it's pretty interesting um i do i i am interested to see how they're going to do the different data banks it would be interesting if they could lay out the facility to a point where you get certain data banks and then you encounter the emperor and then you get that data bank. I think that'd be really cool. Like maybe you see a terminal of eggs and like a picture of the eggs and then you get that data bank um, or, you know, something like that. I, I don't know. I'm not a programmer or anything, but uh, it'd be really interesting to see that. So 
Um, that's it for the video, guys. So I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up button. And if you are not a current subscriber, please subscribe so that way you can keep up to date with some Nautica content and updates. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. It says disable weapon system, but you don't actually disable it. So, and then it goes through the animation. Oh, there's actually sound effects now. Um, they're off sync though. Let's try this again. Uh, from what I saw.